Welcome to this Vibe Pro 7 overview. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing and showing you how to use the three new features in Vibe Pro 7 outside of its iOS 8 compatibility that was also added to this application. So let me jump into Vibe Pro 7 and jump into the first feature, which is high resolution mode. Later in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit in routes, how to edit names, duplication, and things like that, and finally show you the machine point library. But let's begin with the high resolution mode. So to enable this feature, you go into Settings, and you'll see Spectrum Frequency Resolution. It's right there in the, the right middle there. And you'll see uh, the standard 1.345 Hz, and next to it 0 0.33 Hz. Now high resolution mode is only available from the single measurement mode when this is enabled, and this is for people that need to see two frequencies very close together. The high resolution mode will enable you to look at frequencies 20 CPM or higher versus uh, the standard mode that uh, is 80 CPM or higher. So it's for those people that need that, um, that higher resolution to see those two frequencies very close together. So to enable this, just select the 0 0.33 and it'll give you this pop-up basically telling you after doing this, you hit OK and it'll close down the application. When you open it back up, it'll be in high resolution mode. So hit OK you'll get the app shut down on you uh, and then you'll be prompted or you'll want to restart it and Vipro was now in high resolution mode. You'll see that both route measurement and viewer trends and reports are grayed out. This is this means you're in high resolution mode because those two modes are not available in this uh, high resolution. Only single measurement is and you can go in single measurement and do all the standard things you do but it'll capture it at a high resolution. To uh, revert back to the original resolution, uh, just select 1.345 in settings and hit OK. And if you relaunch the app, you are now back in that original mode. The next feature I want to highlight in this tutorial is the editing functionality in routes. If you go in the routes, you'll see a nice blue rectangle there with nothing inside. That's because editing is turned off by default because we don't want people to accidentally edit data when they didn't mean to. So to enable this feature, go back in the settings, the same place we went for high resolution mode, go in the settings and in the bottom right hand corner you'll see a toggle for edit plants, machines, points, and route. When you have that turned on, you'll see the edit text show up in this view. Now, first up I'm going to show you just simple deletion. How to delete a plant, machine, or point. Now if you hit edit, you'll now see a little delete icon next to all three of these plants. Now if I hit one of these, GTI 2 for instance, I can press delete and that will be gone. And I'll do that right now. So that plant is now deleted and out of our area here, our, our route. Now deletion works for plants, machines, and points. So all the way down through the hierarchy here. Next up is the ability to change the name of a plant, machine, or point. So if we hit edit once again, you can now change the name. You'll see that text right above those, those plants, change name. So if I hit uh, chain, uh, plant one, and now I hit uh, the text area and change its name to something else, say plant two, I can now change that name by touching the change name uh, text there and you'll see below it is updated to plant 2. That change name feature is available throughout the entire uh, route including machine and point. Now let's dive down into duplication which is available for any machine or point. It's not available per, for plants because it's unlikely you'd need to duplicate an entire plant. So let's dive into uh, this test Li here, and there we've got a mazak. And let's try, let's duplicate that mazak. Now, duplication will also duplicate any point down below that machine. So, the mazak, if we want to duplicate that exact setup to another mazak, we can duplicate that mazak, and all of the measurement points will be down below that. Now, if it's a machine you've had for a while, you've taken a fair amount of readings. Don't worry, your readings won't be duplicated, just the points themselves. So to get into duplication, hit the edit button once again, and you'll see now duplicate as a middle option here. So let's touch Mazak, and now, as we did before, we're just gonna touch duplicate, 
and you'll now see something called Mazak Copy. Duplication will just add the word copy to any asset you have, and you'll see here that both measurement points are there. So duplication is fairly simple, and that's how you do it. It's also available if you're doing points. Same process there. So that is the editing functionality. Now let's move ahead to the third bit of functionality in Vi Pro 7, the machine point library. And this is an idea that we're starting with Vipro 7, and throughout the year we're going to do updates to Vipro and flesh this idea out more. Right now it's very bare bones, but it is a feature that many people have requested. This is a feature that will allow you to quickly add many points to a, an asset. So you now see this little um, icon right next to point. If you select that, you're going to see a list of different machines with different points an icon of what that machine may look like in real life. So you can select a machine with three points, a very basic HVA setup. And if you touch that, you're going to see three new points there, all set to velocity. Now, you can do that again to get those three points again, um, to set those to acceleration, or can you use duplicate to set uh, those up as well. But that's how that works. We're um, thinking about adding some way to have custom libraries and things of that, like of that. But right now, that's where this feature is and how to use it. We do recommend that after you've done all your edits, that you go back in the settings and turn that feature off, so some of your technicians don't accidentally edit or delete your data. So that is recommended, but that is the Vipro 7 updates there. I hope this has been helpful showing you the new features, how to use them, and perhaps why you may want to use them. If you have any questions, feel free to contact GTI Predictive by emailing us at info at gtipredictive.com or calling us at 603-669-5993. Thanks for your attention, and please let us know if we can help.